What happened with this kiln operation? The quality of the clinker differs too far from the desired target, even though the calculation of the preparation of raw materials in the raw mill and the composition of the kiln feed has been calculated properly. Like this case, kiln feed LSF and clinker LSF differ greatly, and C3S is below target. So that the clinker production process goes down because the quality of the clinker does not reach the target. Improving the quality of clinker does not only consider the mathematical calculation of chemical composition, but research on the operation of the kiln must be carried out. What is the cause and must be repaired immediately, so that the kiln operation improves, the quality of the clinker is on target, and the clinker production capacity can be increased. Before we continue this discussion, if you like this video, please subscribe first, so you can benefit from this video. Alright, let's continue this discussion. Case in point of kiln operation. We took this data at one of the cement factories, before we made improvements in terms of kiln operations. We can see from this table, that there is a very big difference between kiln feed LSF and clinker quality LSF. Likewise, C3S is below the target, and C2S is on the contrary higher than the desired target. The kiln feed LSF was even above 110%, but the clinker LSF as well as the C3S remained low. From this data analysis we can conclude that there are other factors that cause this to happen. Comparison of data between kiln feed composition and clinker quality composition. From the data table above, the difference is an average LSF of 106.49% for kiln feeding, and an average LSF of 94.07% for clinker. There was a missing 12% LSF difference. The question is, where did the LSF go? Because the clinker LSF is low, it results in low C3S and high C2S. Then, for the fineness of the material or residue on the 200 micron sieve an average of 0.85%, this is too low and should be made more than 1.5%. For other quality parameters no deviation is too far. Next, we check the physical shape and color of the clinker coming out of the cooling system. Physically, the outer clinker is black, and the inside is brown, the clinker is hard or does not break easily when slammed. This is influenced by several causes, including, Melting occurs earlier in the transition zone before entering the combustion zone, so the material begins to form granular which is still raw inside. The shape of the flame is too long, and the flame touches the material continuously. The cooling zone inside the rotary kiln is too long, this can be caused by low kiln rotation, low secondary air temperature, the kin outlet hood draft setting is too negative. This is an example of the operation of a kiln with a small capacity, and feeding is only 60% of the installed design capacity, because the production quality cannot meet the desired standard. From this display, we take the kiln operating parameters that are important, and are related to process analysis. A simple analysis that can be seen from the operating parameters of this kiln. First, the feeding kiln is only 60%, but the SPID fan speed is already 100%, resulting in a high temperature on the top cyclone preheater or 437 degrees Celsius, for type 5 cyclone level preheater the normal top temperature is below 360 degrees Celsius. With the high air suction of the SPID fan, and the temperature of the topmost cyclone preheater is high, and the kiln feeding material is too fine, the return dust will increase. Kiln feed material that is easy to fly and participates as a return dust is CAO, and we checked the LSF of the return dust is 135%. The logic is simple, if the LSF that is fed into the preheater system goes down, then the result of the process in the kiln becoming clinker also goes down, 
so that C3S also goes down and C2S goes up. The second is, the secondary air temperature is low or only 708 degrees Celsius, and the kiln outlet hood is minus 0.8 bar, the normal range is minus 0.2 bar. This indicates that the cooling zone in the rotary kiln is long, this also causes the formation of C2S to increase and C3S to decrease, and physically the clinker is harder. And the third is, fuel consumption in the main burner and calciner burner, it can be seen here that the fuel consumption in the main burner is 2.3 tons per hour or 60%. It is recommended for preheaters that use tertiary air duct, 40% fuel consumption in the main burner, and 60% in the calciner burner. Check the shape of the burner flame and the operating conditions of the kiln in the field. The shape of a large and long flame, and the flame touches to the material continuously, then at the kiln outlet a thick coating of more than 40 cm is formed, and the length is about 3 meters. We received information that previously, this factory often started to stop the kiln, because a thick coating was formed at the kiln outlet, and a ball coating was formed inside. The flume at the burner tip is more than 2 meters long, normally 0.5 of the burner diameters. This happens, because the primary air flow is high and the air pressure is low, and the secondary air temperature is low. The position of the burner is in the lower left position, so that the burner flame touches the material continuously. After the analysis of the cause of the problem is known, then stop the kiln operation for a short time about one to two days, to carry out repairs as planned. That is, repairing or resetting the kiln main burner, checking the preheater system, and changing the control of the kiln operation after the kiln is restarted. Replace with a standby burner that has been repaired and has been recastable, then reset the burner position to the central position of the kiln diagonal, the burner entry position is zero or the burner tip is parallel to the nose ring. Then the axial and radial primary air settings are in accordance with the Swirlex burner operating standard. Kiln operating conditions after repair and resetting the burner position and resetting the primary air consumption and control parameters of kiln operation. The fuel consumption in the kiln is about 40% and the fuel consumption in the calciner is about 60%. After the clinker quality target can be achieved, it can increase production capacity to approach the optimum kiln operation. This data was taken several weeks after the repair. Kiln operating conditions began to improve, and the preheater's top temperature could drop below 400 degrees Celsius. After improving the quality of raw meal by keeping residue above 1.5%, and changing the control of the kiln operation, the LSF setting for the kiln feed can be below 99%, and C3S can reach the target of 60%. There is no significant difference in the composition of the kiln feed and the clinker composition. This is the data after the improvement, the kiln operating condition is smooth and close to optimal. The quality of all data is not outside the target or all is within the kiln operating range according to the desired target. That was the explanation of how to analyze deviations in the quality of clinker products how to analyze the production process, and how to make improvements. Thank you for watching this video, hopefully it's useful, and don't forget to subscribe, like and comment, and share it with your friends who need it. See you in the next video.